After serving five terms on the Hamilton County School Board, Rhonda Thurman brings her 20-year tenure to a close tonight. And most voters in her District 1 in North Hamilton County counted on her to reflect their conservative views. In School Patrol, Rhonda Thurman looks back on her school board years and her plans for the future. Want to know where Rhonda Thurman stands? Just ask her. Never shy to express an opinion, she's rarely missed a school board meeting for the past 20 years. But that's about to change. Well, it's just time, David. There's just a lot. Uh, my grandkids are getting older. I'm having to miss a lot of things with them because of meetings and different things. And, and it's just time. Everybody always said you would know when it's time to step down, and I just know it's time. The self-proclaimed Ph.D., or professional hairdresser, has been preaching to the choir in her district since 2004. Just ask her customers. She's the only one that has any common sense, and she's done a great job. Ironically, Thurman is leaving the school board after an election in which voters chose mostly conservative candidates, a first for Hamilton County Schools. That's absolutely true. I would love to be on this board coming up. I would really love it, but I'm glad that some conservatives have gotten on there. I really am. She was one of the few on the school board to push back against masking during the pandemic, strongly resisting the recommendations of the medical community. And I was one of the first people, if you recall, I questioned the doctors, the pediatricians, that uh, the school board was relying a lot on their expertise about the masking, and I absolutely was adamant that K through two not have to wear a mask. I really didn't want any of the kids to have to, but especially K through two, because I knew how important it was in their reading. She was also opposed to schools being closed during the pandemic for an extended period. We didn't start back to school when we should have. We had the power to start back to school anytime we wanted, and we chose to keep those children out of school. That was our choice. It was the board's fault, no one else's, because we were listening to the teachers union instead of worrying about the students. She knows not everyone agrees with her staunch conservative views because she has gotten an earful from critics in person, on the phone, and online throughout her 20-year school board career. She has a message for those cheering her exit. It never really has bothered me. I mean, you can't please all the people all the time, and I don't try. I never did try. I just told you how I felt and how I was going to vote, and I didn't let their opinion sway my, my vote one way or the other. I did what I thought was right. And she has a message for those who cheered her on. Well, I want to tell them thank you. Uh, they're smart. <laughs> I like hanging around with smart people, and obviously there's quite a few smart ones up in District 1 because uh, they agreed with me. So there you go. I, I just felt like I was doing the right thing for the students. That's what was always my goal. Rhonda Thurman is being replaced on the school board by Steve Slater, whom she endorsed. As for her accomplishments, she's especially proud of new school facilities in the Soddy Daisy area that opened during her tenure, including long overdue athletic fields and the future new Soddy Daisy Middle School. She hopes more churches will open schools in the years to come because she says the influx of non-English speaking students has overburdened county schools. And she says she plans to watch school board meetings online now, and she won't be in the audience unless, in her words, she has something to say. Could happen.